Praise be Jesus Christ. I'm going to try to make a long story short. I don't look at the internet first thing in the morning. The first thing I do is I do my holy hour. But I was falling into the bad habit of as soon as my holy hour was over, kind of checking the internet. You know, any important emails, what's new in the, the news, uh, social media. And I knew, like, Scripture says, there's an appointed time for everything. And going straight from prayer to the internet, just there's other things I need to do first. So, I knew that this kind of bad habit was something that would take a little more than just trying to snap out of it because oftentimes I felt like, oh, this is, you know, something I really need to check, you know, right now. This is important and I was lying to myself. So what I decided to do is to go back to my sparkly star system of establishing good habits. I've been doing this for years um, and I actually thought, you know what, if I'm going to do this, let's put together a little book. That's where I came up with the Sparkly Star Notebook. So this is, this is why I created the Sparkly Star Notebook. The thing I was most specifically trying to snap out of was checking the internet right after holy hour. And then secondly, there was also in the afternoon, before my afternoon walk, oftentimes I would want to just take a quick check at social media or whatever, before my walk, which is just stupid because my walk is specifically meant to be a time when I'm not carrying the cares of the world with me. I don't bring my phone. I just kind of try to take in the beauty of God's creation. I jokingly call my daily walk my wonder walk. I try to be filled with wonder. So that was another one. So anyways, so check this out. You see that after holy hour, if I don't look at the internet after holy hour, I give myself a star. Before walk, if I don't check the internet before my walk, I give myself a start. Now, go ahead and laugh. Go ahead and say, oh, that's such a childish thing. This is the deal. It works. And if I just tell myself, oh, I got to kind of try to stop doing this. It, for me, it's just not enough. I'll always find an excuse. And so I call this making micro improvements in your life. And these small improvements, they end up being huge. So if you're interested in this, especially for Lent. Now, I love this thing. It's something I don't find myself hesitant to, to reach towards when it's my time to, to, to do my, uh, uh, spend time with this notebook. Um, so if you want a copy, pick it up on Amazon. You can find stickers at most stores and also online. My scripture for you that deals with overcoming laziness by taking small steps, the scripture asks us to look at the ant. Ants make their beautiful sand castles by moving one grain of sand at a time, slowly. It's a phenomena. Scripture says, go to the ant, O sluggard. Study her ways and learn wisdom. Viva Cristo Rey.